Hey guys and welcome to another review on the Brickbox and this time it will be another review on the recently released Star Wars Lego sets for the summer of 2012 and this is the Gungan Sub set 9499 and this is made up of 465 pieces and it does come with four minifigures those are Qui-Gon Jinn, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Queen Amidala and also Jar Jar Binks Jar Jar Binks is the old style we have seen this one before but the new exclusive debut figure is that all important Queen Amidala which is a much anticipated and talked about figure uh, also Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon Jinn are of a new design as well now this set will cost you £54.99 in the UK $69.99 in the USA €69.99 Euros in Europe and $99.99 in Australia. This set does feature things such as two cargo holds, two cargo containers, a rotating tail, four flick missiles and a detachable mini sub with harpoon. This does measure over 16 inches long and 10 inches wide. We do get the brick separator with this set and we do get this one sticker sheet with four five six seven eight stickers on there so not too many guys not too bad and we do get one and two instruction manuals and as always we do get a comic strip in the back and that is the comic strip in the back of this one pretty cool looking pictures on that so let's take a quick look at the box so you can see a nice picture on the front there underwater scene with that uh, massive fish that was in the movie that you'll probably remember all the minifigures down the side and on the top and round to the back there we have some very nice pictures as well so let's take a look at the sub itself guys we'll give it a bit of a 360 spin for you to see there first we have this anchor on the front of the uh, of the sub and there if we have a look at the back you'll see the propulsion system and now these coming off the back are the rotating tail pieces and it is actually fixed together by that block there this blue block at the end didn't show you to put that on but there was one extra so I added it on just to keep the colour consistency otherwise that end bit would be great and this does spin round albeit when you actually turn these or twist them like that it does put it a bit off centre so as you can see when you turn it it goes up and down a little you do get that really awesome looking translucent propulsion system at the back there it, it does look really really nice and that does spin right right to the back there just past that orange translucent piece uh, we do have two cargo holes at the back and those are these translucent hatches and in there you can store your cargo and we do get this orange I'm not sure what that is but it looks like a cluster bomb or something some kind of uh, design like that you may be able to tell me what that is uh, we do have storage there we have clips at the sides so you can actually put the lightsabers in there if you did want to and then those will just close down I do like the shape of these hatch covers they are very very nice and here you have the main control section of the sub we have sticker applications inside there and also to the front part there we have sticker applications also and here we have the seating arrangement for the minifigs you can get three minifigs in there you get uh, Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan and also Jar Jar Binks in there but the only thing is you need to remove the capes from Qui-Gon and you need to remove it from Obi-Wan as well if you want them to sit in there otherwise they will not sit properly there are a couple of spaces down the sides there and you can put your lightsabers in there they don't fit too well but they will sit in there but it's probably best to clip them into the back so that is your main console at the front for steering the ship we do have these orange translucent pieces for the lights at the front and also these clear translucent pieces I do like, like the way it's finished off at the side there uh, when you construct this it just bends round and then clips on either side but it does look very nice and it does finish it off it feels sturdy as well as you, as you actually handle it it feels very sturdy um, so you will get 
some good playability out of this without pieces falling off. That's one good part of this ship. Also on the top we have cargo containers and it's these things in the side. There's a stud on the top and they pull out and then they will sit in those hollowed out sections there. And inside each one of these, there's one on the other wing as well, you just get a blue translucent stud piece. That is all. Nothing too exciting really. But like you could put anything in there really. Put a uh, chocolate frog in there from the Harry Potter set if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. And like I say, you do get one that side as well with the exact same piece inside the translucent blue piece. Well, we'll take these out anyway because I want to show you underneath the sub now. So as we go underneath the sub, you will see we have a flick missile there and also a flick missile on the other side in exactly the same place. Well, that's pretty much it for underneath. Guys, we do have these circular pieces just so it sits a lot better when you put it down. And also at the back, we have the escape detachable mini sub. Sorry, it is a detachable mini sub. And that will just pull out from there. And there you can see where it sits inside. And that is your detachable mini sub. And this is still connected to the back. That will flip open like that. And there you can see inside we do have another control console. And just one uh, seating arrangement really, you'll only get one minifigure in there. And then we do have translucent orange pieces as well to the front of there. That is pretty much it for that guys. And that will just clip back on. There are some runners there, you can see on the side of that, those pieces sticking out. Those will fit into the runners and that will clip back into place. Like I say guys, this does feel very good quality. I am very impressed with this. Nice, sturdy set, this one. Okay guys, on to the minifigures and let's start with the most anticipated uh, minifigure. This is the one that everyone's been waiting to see. And it is Queen Amidala. And it looks pretty stunning guys, I've got to admit that. Uh, the dress, we don't, we don't have legs, it just comes down to this one dress piece at the bottom which does fan out into a circular uh, shape at the bottom there. We do have detailing print to the front of that torso and it's finished off in a gold chrome. Uh, quite an intrinsic pattern to the middle of that. It does look very very nice indeed and it carries on down to the dress. We do have these small circular pieces as well on, on the bottom of that dress uh, with extra detail there and the printing does carry on around to the back of this figure as you can see there we have more detailing and there you can see we only have the one head print on this minifigure but look at the awesome detail to that hair piece guys that does look pretty outstanding you've got to admit that and all these gold and red printed colours on that head piece looks pretty outstanding I'll tell off again there you can see that one facial expression but uh, well worth the wait this minifigure guys in my opinion definitely and next up we have a Koi Gonjin and this is a redesign and the main difference being as you can see there with that printed face on the head he has the breathing apparatus in his mouth so that is the first time we've seen that he does come with this silver hilt on the lightsaber and the green saber blade and he does have the printing to the front of the torso there as well and with brown legs the uh, hair piece we've seen before issued with him and he comes with the brown cape and we do have printing to the rear of this figure which I'll show you now and there you can see the second face printed on that head of Qui-Gon Jinn and also the rear of the torso the detail that carries on round to the back and next up we have a new designed Obi-Wan Kenobi and again he has that face printed onto the head with the breathing apparatus again he does have the ginger hair piece with the short hair he does have the printing to the front of the torso as well and there you can see the ponytail that comes down to the front of that torso which is just printed there. He does have the silver lightsaber hilt and translucent blue lightsaber blade as well and he comes with the brown cape and he does have back printing which we'll take a look at now. And here we can see the printing on the rear of the torso and 
that second face that is printed onto the head as well. And lastly we have Jar Jar Binks, everyone's favourite friend, or maybe not. Uh, this has been seen before, it is the same design as was previously released, but this one does come with the harpoon gun printing to the front of the torso and uh, flesh coloured arms there and this headpiece with this great intricate design which runs right down to the back I must say the headpiece is very nice on this minifigure now this minifigure does come with some back printing as well which you can see there from this recently decapitated Jar Jar Binks which might please a few people but not everybody but yeah guys there is the Jar Jar Binks so on to the rating of this set and we'll start with the ages of 5 to 12 I will give this an 8 out of 10 for you guys as there is a lot of playability with this set um, functioning parts, flick missiles etc to keep you entertained plus you do get these 4 awesome minifigures to play with the teenagers ages 13 to 19 I will give this a 7 out of 10 the playability factor is still there for the younger teenagers but the older teenagers uh, the displayability of this is pretty cool, it looks really nice on display and the exclusivity of the minifigures as well will be good for you guys. Uh, the A-Folds are ages 20 plus, 7 out of 10 because of the minifigures, pretty much uh, Queen Amidala, that debut minifigure, that exclusive minifigure there that will uh, definitely keep the A-Folds coming back for this set. And plus it does look really really nice on display, it's, it's not a set that won't look out of place in your display so a thumbs up for that the uh, brick box build difficulty rating this is going to get a 5 out of 10 as it is not too taxing on your skills just an average build really but anyway guys that is it for this review and I hope to see you on more reviews soon but until then guys brick on